Hey guys, Nick here with Texas Outdoors coming to you from Shirts, Texas. Beautiful morning. We've got a couple great units here we just got done doing for a customer. We've done a few units for him and he bought these brand new and wanted to kind of do something a little different. Um, as you can see, it's a quail unit, very specific. We actually chopped the frames on these. Yes, warranties were voided in the process, um, but what we did was and I'm gonna kind of dive into everything, but this is probably the most interesting part is everybody's wondering where are the roll bars at? Well, what we did was we took the roll frame apart, we reinforced it here and back here. So that way the integrity of this extended roof, which you guys have seen many times on a lot of our other units, uh, still is strong. It grabs from back here, 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 and here, eight different mounting points to secure it and stabilize it. So you could, you know, have this full array of view here pull a rifle no problem um, this is going to be shell casings and storage and all that so it's going to be easy for quick draw and whatnot uh, as far as the units go they're both 2020 kawasaki mule pro fxt green eps units we did the ranch armor front bumper we did the clean bull bar look no uh, headlight guards here um, he wanted the 20 inch light bar uh, obviously, we've got the built-in shackle mounts on these, built-in winch mounts. He didn't do a winch, didn't need them. But the cool thing about this unit is all the lights on this unit are still wired to our overhead control box in our roof. So our roofs, which people really have enjoyed because of our control boxes and how easy they are to use and how centralized everything is in terms of the wiring, um, is still right here. And normally, it, all the wires snake through the front uh, roll bar, but in this one, we uh, snaked it to the back side and everything still corresponds and goes up to the control box overhead. So front bumper, ranch armor bumper, bull bar only. We did the lift kit. We did the high lifter arms front and back to allow for the 31 inch Maxxis Buckshot 2 light duty truck tires, three inch lift. So to do anything more than a 28 on these guys, you have to do high lifter arms or arms in general in the front and back to allow that clearance and that wheel hub to swing backwards. We did the HD springs with all the additional weight and the increased height of this unit. You definitely want more stability. So on this one, we chose to do the uh, Kawasaki HD spring option. Um, going to the back here, we did the Ranch Armor bumper with hitch option and flush mounts. And again, those flush mounts are wired all the way to that control box overhead. So everything is, again, centrally located. The dash is real clean, still looks factory. And that's what we're after when we build units, guys, is how can we do it really clean, really functional and how can we make it last so we did two of them as you can see this guy over here same thing twins uh, we did different wheels on both of them and the the customer had saw them throughout the process said cool now my kids can pick which one's there so that's what these wheels are different for now is identification purposes but um oh and let's get back to the roof here i'm so sorry guys i'm a little scatterbrained today but as far as the roofs go as you'll see there's no front light on the roof here he didn't want one he just wanted one in the bumper because he wanted the light to project from the lower point not the upper point but on the sides we did something a little unique here he wanted a little bit more of an optical light so we did 40 inch 40 inch curved tri-row lights with a beam with the high focus beams on the outside so we did the 40s on the sides and his lights in the rear again come from the bumpers so kind of different because most of the time on roofs people want lights all the way around up there but this customer really wanted the lights on the bumpers and the side lights that project from the top and then if you can lift up there mckenzie a little higher you can probably see way up there the uh, spare tire mount so nobody ever wants to be stranded when you're miles from camp so we did spare tire mounts on these and uh he's gonna have full-size spare uh, tire and wheels so when he's out and about something goes wrong he has something up there to easily gain access to. So you gotta watch out though, because the clearance, this is a very tall unit. I'm six foot three, and this is how tall this unit is. These are specifically going in a Connex box. So he's not worried about the height, but those tires up there obviously gonna add a little bit more height. So um, guys, it's our busy time of year. We're building lots of units, lots of custom stuff. This was something really unique that we thought was cool. We had never done before, and it just, really looks like a functional vehicle now you can tell when you see it if you're a hunter you can definitely tell exactly what it's for and that's what we love doing let us know what we can do for you guys whether it's a roof a bumper a build outfit whatever it is let us know